Yeah, man. Matter of fact, before we go to the questions, let me just bring on a couple of a couple of my students real quick, man. Uh, double up. Let me let me let me go live with you real quick, man. I brought you on stage. I brought you on stage this weekend. He said he wanted to come on real quick and just talk his numbers real quick. What's up, King? What's good, King? Man, where you, where you live at again, bro? Uh, Fairville, North Carolina. You in North Carolina, man. You came to the conference, man. It was an honor to meet you, brother. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I put you in front of 3,000 people. You had your, you held your own. You know? What's yes, up? Sir. Just chilling and chilling, man. Uh, like I had said down in the comments, man, anybody that was on the fence, like, that's still thinking about the course, man, you know, I ha I have my back office coming from a student, you know, mm -hmm. that I'm willing to share with everybody. Yeah, um, hold on, just so y'all about, just so y'all know what's getting ready to happen. Y'all heard me talk about how I had to show my back office on live a couple of months ago, because you know people keep saying that I, Alex only only got rich off the courses that he wasn't really making no money off trucks. So I had to show my my pretty much my bank. <laughs> um, so so that was me. Me and Adam did that. So now um, one of my students wants to come on and show his back office. Right? If y'all want to see my my man. Uh, show his numbers, right? I need y'all to drop. Um, I need y'all to type. Show num Show your numbers in the comments, real quick. If y'all want him to talk heavy, say show your numbers, right? <laughs> Men lie, women lie. Numbers don't, right? Yeah. So this is one of my students, y'all. We didn't plan this. I didn't even know he was gonna come on here and do this, but you know, we go, we go, we gonna go ahead and. Uh, and it ain't even about explaining myself, uh, wellness. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just need people to understand what separates me uh, from everybody and why we number one right now. I need the people to understand why we number one. And um, nothing that, I, that, I, that I've done, everything I've done has been transparent. I've documented my journey for the last five years on this Instagram page. So, you know, some people, you know, you, my content is, is fine, but some people want to see numbers. So I just wanted to make sure I delivered it. So, um, and they appreciated it. Yep. So my brother, go ahead, man. The, the floor is yours, brother. All right. So first I'm going to show y'all, you know, I told y'all I was working overseas. Everybody who has been on the live before who came to the conference, they knew. So look. This is what they was offering me to stay. Right there. So we're gonna go to the um What are we looking at right now, King? This was my contract they offered me to stay over there. Stay over I, where? Overseas in Afghanistan. Oh, okay. So, so what, what 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 number are we looking at? The hundred and twenty eight thousand? <laughs> no, the uh the one thirty one. And that's what a year? Yeah, for a whole year. So, you know, I decided that I wanted to do this entrepreneur thing. I wanted my time back in um, my first six months in the business. This is where we gross. Double up transportation. Let me get that oh, right. Let, let it focus. Hold on. Oh, man. That's the six months. Uh, that looked like 100 and put, this, put it up a little bit. 182,000. That's what we gross. That's so we grow six months. So, you know, um, and within the course of um, by the end of the year, you know, I definitely surpassed that that number that I was offered net wise. So that's, that's what I'm telling you, all like, man, it is it, is really a, a benefit to definitely be your own boss and buy your time back, you know, because now I get I get to spend time with my family. And I don't have to be gone, man. Like I'm, like I said, I missed my son's birthday for the first time in eight years last year, and it it, it hurt me. Like so, I was like, man, I got to do something different, straight up. Mm. But yeah, real testimonies, like I always say. I see everybody down there in the comments. One of my drivers down there in the comments. One of your drop. Let, let's let's bring one of your drivers on. Which, which one is your on. Let's keep. Let's let's go ahead and go there tonight. Wh who's your driver? Diego. Two six Yego two underscore six. Oh. Hey, I see him. I see him right here. Hey, hey, hey! Request me to go live. Um, Yego. It's Y Y A right? Yep. Oh, request me to go live, Yego. Definitely, like Miss Go Get You One said, this is definitely what happens when you bet on yourself, straight up. One hundred. Hold on, I I I want to I want to I, I gotta see something real quick. There you go, I see him. 
Yeah, right. here we go. Boom. So this your driver right here, right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Cool. And the thing, I, and I tell all my drivers, you don't work for me. Exactly. You work, you work with me. And that's exactly right? what I so told you. So this is technically, <laughs> yeah, so this is technically your business partner. Is he in the truck right now? Yeah, he probably, he probably, you driving right now, Diego? Yes, sir. Yeah, he driving. He, he got the whole setup, though. He, he, he don't, um, he got a little thing to hold his phone, so. Oh, no, nah, it's all good. So I just need to hear his voice. I'm cool with that. That's fine. I don't know if you want to throw a light on. It's up to you. But um, I wanted uh, to bring you on, on, right? He said, hold on? Yeah. Nah, he probably going to hit, hit the light at the top. Yeah, it was good me. Right, there you go, my brother. You good? Don't even worry about it. I can hear you though, right? You probably yeah. know. This this live T. There you go. Oh, he got the red light special in the truck. I ain't mad at you, Playboy. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, Playboy, with the red light special in the truck. So look, look, man, this live TV right here, right? So the reason I wanted to bring you on, brother. First of all, how long has he been working with you, King? Uh, six months. Six months, right? Yeah. How'd, six, how'd you find? How'd you find this this this, this young brother right here? Um, word word of mouth. I had reached out to him and asked him if he knew somebody because I knew he drove before. And then you know he was like, I I I'll check and see if I can find somebody for you. And he just hit me up one day and said, Hey man, I hop in there. There you go. Hey. Well, what and, happened? And, 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 and I I was telling him how um. I was looking for a driver and I asked you about a driver and then you came back and you was like, you will hop in there for me. And um, he, he been phenomenal ever since. Like, man, uh, you know, I, I made sure, you know, he, he's taken care of. And, and I told him like, you know, this is a partnership, man. The same way, you know, you helping me feed my family. I know I'm helping you feed your family. So it is more of a team thing for us. And like, at the end of the day, I want him to, you know, get up there eventually get his own truck so we talking about that you know i, I get I, you know i give him the game i'm not gonna hold him behind never never will hold him behind like i want him to elevate damn bro straight up so diego let me ask you this you know what i'm saying what is it about my brother right here terry you know terry i say that if you've been with him for six months and i'm gonna be real with y'all everybody that's on here right now the average lifespan for a driver with a company and I hate to say it is really like is really like three to nine months. I'm gonna just be hundred with you. For some reason, you know what I mean? So what what is it about my man right here that made you rock with him for the last six months, bro? Man, honestly, uh I've been through a lot of trucking companies and whatnot. But uh but one, because I, I know him, you know what I'm saying? And two, I know he ain't really gonna be on no 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 sites stuff or whatever and 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 three it's a black owned business for sure and with all that being said it's just like when he said coming into it as like a partnership that really makes you feel a whole lot more comfortable with everything that's going on you know what i'm saying and and me being like one of his first drivers man you know what i'm saying like i'm with it I, I, i'm just with it all you know what i'm saying and the fact that he he, he, he tells me all the time like look bro I don't want you to just be my driver all the time, you know what I'm saying? We we gonna elevate and keep elevating and keep elevating, you know what I'm saying? And and that's that's a lot of motivation for me because I ain't I ain't never got a lot of that, you know what I'm saying? It's just and I'm tired of kinda of like working for the next man, but it don't feel like that with, with with my boy right here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely sticking around for the long run and we're gonna keep running it up. Bro, so, that's so that's so amazing, Terriante. So let me ask you this, man, because he he knew to the game. He just got up and running, and you gave him a shot as a as a new company. Like a lot of some drivers might be like, look, he he knew. I don't want to work for nobody that's new. Terriante, right. what like like what was it about Terriante that made you like, all right, I'm gonna give him a shot? Like I'm assuming that you know from you taking the course, Terriante, like he felt more co confident with giving you a shot because you sounded knowledgeable. Like how did the course? in any way help you, Terry Ante, to pull this off and, and, and give him the confidence to rock with you, fam? I mean, for the most part, you, in a way, the way you carried yourself, and I, and I watch, you know, I, I study everything that you said about, you know, j j just how to maintain people or carry yourself as a fleet owner, you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Because that, that was one of the most important things to me, like, 
you know, everybody can go through things, but, but people got to realize, you know, it, it's also, you got to be, you know, business minded, like minded, and you got to be able to handle business. You know what I'm saying? With, with dealing with people. So um, I really feel like, you know, I just got that from you. All, all the gems that you gave us in the mastermind calls or on live or anything, you know, that that's that's really where I got everything from. Nah, nah, that's a fact, bro. And um, I just want I just want the world to know that it's one thing to find a good driver. But what I've specialized in um, for my company is showing people how to keep good drivers. Right. And, and, and that's what I focus on, because I realize that we can have a brand new truck. We can have a contract that pays a million dollars a year. We can have a truck that don't break down, but none of that means anything unless we got my man Diego right there, right? right. So I, yeah. I'm just pro driver. I'm pro making the driver know that you're needed and you're respected because I don't right. know how long you, you be on the road for Diego, but we just respect the fact that you making a sacrifice away from your family, right? right. And it's iron sharp as iron. You making a living, but you also helping my man Diego make a living, man. So that's what I, I focus on in this portal is to create these type of relationships that you guys are seeing right now, where the that 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 mutual level of respect that you're seeing right now with these two kings. That's what I preach about. That's what that's that leadership. Right? Yep. Creating a culture within your company to make somebody feel good that they work with you. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's what it's all about. It's iron sharpening iron. One man is no more important than the next man. I promise you that, yep. And, you know, he he, he do his thing, man. Like, you know, he hit me, hey, man, I sent small stuff like, hey, bro, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to take the truck in and go get the truck wash. A little simple stuff like that. I was like, yo, he a good dude, man. Got, got to be taken care of, straight up. Yeah, man, I'm... I love it, bro. Man, I want to see y'all boys ride to the wheels fall off. I want, I want Diego to, I want Diego once he's ready to level up and get his truck and maybe lease it up under you for a minute, and then yeah. you know what I'm saying, eventually get his own authority. Like that's what it's all about. I don't want to keep no driver working for me for ten years. Yeah. Nah, we want, we want to see you level up. Help me level up. Help me, help me take care of my family, and I'm gonna pass the olive branch down to you. That's the yeah. goal. If you working yeah. for a company and they, and they not talking about you taking it to the next level, you working for the wrong company. And that's what I preach to my students. Show show them that there's a there's there's a next level after driving for you. Yes, sir. Yes, so Diego, man. so Diego, I just want you to know, man, on behalf of his mentor, I just appreciate you giving my my guy and my student a shot, and just know that he got he got raised he got trained by somebody who got hella respect for y'all. You understand what I'm, what I'm telling you? So I just appreciate you giving my man a shot. And I just hope that y'all brothers work together, man. Work together. If y'all got any issues, communicate with each other. Yeah. Right? If you have Always. a problem, Diego, give give Terriante the opportunity to fix it before you leave him. Okay? Oh, yeah. We don't we don't came across the stuff, man. We already we done already, you know what I'm saying, been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm double up for life, man. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> this, this is my boy. I'm rocking with him like that. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Everybody take notes. Everybody yeah. take notes. I be complaining about drivers. Take care of them when you find them, yo. Yo, Diego, I'm going to let you get back to the road. I appreciate you, King. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. All right, bro. Hey, be safe, bro. I appreciate you, man. Peace out. All right, no doubt. Somebody says, I'm going to the questions now. Somebody says, what's one of your dispatch students' number? <laughs> Numbers. Okay. I got somebody else I could bring. She was on stage as well, too. Let me see if uh, Alicia want to come on real quick. And, you know, one of my dispatch students, let's see if she want to come on real quick. She came She came on stage and, and, and told it, but I let her come on here and tell it as well. So I brought up Double Up Transportation. Uh, one of my portal members, he just showed his numbers. Now we got a dispatch student. You know what I mean? I know you're probably tired. You can keep it quick, man. Just just tell them real, real quick uh, what you're doing, Leash. On the dispatch dispatcher side. Oh wow, that that conference was so amazing. Like I'm still trying to recoup. It drained the life out of me. <laughs> well, I, yo, me too. I, I'm even <laughs> up right now. Like, I've been asleep trying to get back to it, man. Yeah, I so called me. out two days in a row. I'm you called out, right? <laughs> and you wouldn't even you wouldn't even uh uh presenting. Imagine how I feel. <laughs> 
Um, it was amazing. Um, I met a lot of people, um, good people who is definitely motivated. Um, that dispatch course definitely changed everything, everything for me. Um, I, just like I told a lot of people, this was never really my dream. It was never my dream to become a dispatcher. Mm. I was simply trying to help a friend. That's mm. it. And so by me trying to figure out different things for him and how the trucking industry worked, I felt like he was definitely being neglected. And so I purchased it. And now that I have the knowledge and just doing it for six months is crazy. I, I gained six trucks just from the conference. Literally people walking up to me. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, look. Damn. Yeah. yeah. I, I gotta, I'm trying to look for another dispatcher to try to train. Well, you know where, the, where you can find another dispatcher at least. Yeah, so I'm I'm reaching out to some people definitely within the group yeah. and uh, to see if they could want to come on to help because things are getting a little crazy. Um, it's definitely been dropped into my spirit for mentorship. And I kept trying to ignore all signs from, from God and he like, no, no, no. You ain't getting away that easy. So I was actually in the midst of creating the online site right before you started live just to kind of get everything started so mentorship is coming you guys you guys been begging for it it's coming it's in the works but i have to make sure that it's right i'm not rushing it mm. so let's talk the numbers the numbers is crazy the numbers is crazy it's definitely 16k per week for me um, and that's even with me paying my other dispatchers um, their percentage. And most people want to know, I pay them 5% mm. out of the 10% that I offer services for. So it's very comfortable. Mm. Um, they're consistently working. And um, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's just so, what it is. So just to recap, knew nothing about trucking. Nothing at all about trucking. Took the course. Mm six months ago went crazy went went stupid with it right marketed got her carriers skilled up to what was the first jump like you yeah like you jumped up like 10 seven. trucks or seven? seven so she jumped up to seven trucks and, and again keep in mind guys she does not own any of these trucks she doesn't own any of these trucks y'all she literally um are dis she's dispatching on behalf of other trucking companies mm -hmm. right found her carriers, and now she's getting a percentage, which is 10% off of the gross of what she books. Yep. Gives 5% to her other dispatchers, keeps the other five, and then I'm assuming you have your own trucks that you dispatch and you keep the full 10%, right? Correct. Come on, man. Correct. And so yes. with that, um, it's just they're, they're, they're super spoiled. <laughs> they won't, some, some of them won't allow you know, certain people to dispatch, but mm -hmm. overall, they love the services given. And um, for, so my treat to people who's been rocking with me for six months, um, I have some merchandise that I'm going to mail out to the house as a thank mm -hmm. you for just being rocking patient with, with me, being consistent with me. Yep. Right, right. So Leash literally followed the three, my three core principles in trucking. She literally mm -hmm. followed it. She she mastered it herself, became a beast at it, duplicated herself. She hired help. Now you got a couple of dispatches working with you. How many you got working with you right now? Three. I need right? I need about two more. Right. She <laughs> duplicated herself in those three those three people. So that allowed her to do what? My third core principle, which is scale up. Master, duplicate scale i need it's everybody to type thing. that type it's that in the comments thing, right guys. now type that in the like, comments right now guys master duplicate scale now she's on the scaling process now she already killed it she already mastered it she already duplicated herself she's still having to duplicate herself why because now she's scaling up even faster than she can duplicate herself which is a really good problem right it's, uh, yeah yes and no yeah <laughs> yeah, it is. yeah, it's a good problem. It's, it's overwhelming. Um, I it's just really 
just so surreal. Like I never imagined mm -hmm. my life being like this, but um, I love it. I give it everything a thousand percent that I put my name on. Mm. So although it wasn't my dream, I'm still going to give it my all because my name is attached to it. And I'm not going doing anything halfway or shabby. It's either all or nothing at all. And the other thing that I would stress to you guys is don't think about it. If you know that it's right, it feel like it's right, and you trust, trust your gut. If it's saying do it, just go ahead and do it. Be consistent be dedicated mm -hmm. and don't 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 listen to the naysayers because they definitely around um you got to listen to the angels and let god guide you the way that you need to go just just keep pressing ahead at tunnel vision i promise you it's going to work because it has to work <laughs> and like my good brother one fifth of the circle of ceo says it has to work or it has, or it has to, to work, work that's the only two options y'all period Leash, Period. thank you so much. I know it's You're late. Welcome. I'm going to let you get you some rest. I need to get me some you rest. You see too. me, right? <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm tired as well, man. I, it was good meeting you, you know what I'm saying, for the first time finally this weekend, man. It was awesome. All right, love. All right, see y'all. Love y'all. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. <sighs> Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained, man? Listen, that's all I got in me tonight, y'all. I'm exhausted. Hopefully by tomorrow, I'm fully recovered from the formula conference, man, right? If you're looking to tap in with us and uh, join the uh, family, yo, hit the link in my bio, click on Good Energy Courses, or you can visit www.goodenergyworldwide.com. Uh, you're not ready to buy a truck, get the dispatch for us. If you're trying to get a truck, learn the game first, all right? Education before compensation. Join our complete trucking portal, right? And... Um, Hey, man, education before compensation. That's all I can tell y'all. Stop playing. Don't play with it. You cannot skip over that part before you happen into this game. What's up, world? It's Alex Burton, founder of Good Energy Worldwide, responsible for the number one trucking digital training portal in the country right now. And it's my honor to introduce to you guys the Dispatch Mastery Course. Like we get hundreds of emails asking like, hey, can I generate money in the industry without actually owning a truck? And the answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes, y'all. In this online course, we're gonna be showing you how to dispatch your trucks efficiently, right? Like how to book loads, how to negotiate with shippers and brokers to make sure that you're maximizing profits. Not only that, guys, I'm also gonna show you how to start your own dispatch service. I'm gonna show you how to generate six figures a year in this business without owning any equipment. We started our dispatch service in 2015 and we've made tremendous profits with little startup costs and very small overhead. This course is gonna show you how to make money off other people's trucks by handling the day-to-day -day operations for them. It's 15 million trucks on the road today. 2.2 million of those are tractor trailers and guess what? They all require a dispatcher. I'm gonna be real y'all, we've mastered the art of dispatching. And in this course, I'm gonna share that blueprint with you. Sign up right now and get certified through Good Energy Worldwide with our Dispatch Mastery course. I'll see y'all on the other side.